Hey what's up guys so in this video I want to talk about how you can use WhatsApp or better yet what features of WhatsApp you can use on your Samsung Galaxy watches whether you're using Galaxy Watch 3 or Watch Active 2 or even Galaxy Watch. In this video I will be using Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 which is running on One UI version 2. So if we go in settings, go in about watch here, go in software. So we are running on One UI version 2. This is important because different versions of One UI support different features of WhatsApp. Pretty similar but a few differences here and there. But if you're running on One UI 2.0, this is the stuff that you'll be able to do with WhatsApp. So first of all, I want to talk about what you can do. So there is no official WhatsApp app, so you cannot see all of your chats on your watch. You cannot initiate a WhatsApp message on your watch. So if you don't have a WhatsApp message in your notification, you cannot initiate a WhatsApp message all by itself. You can do that with normal texts. So you can simply go in the app drawer, go in messages, and here you can go in contacts and select any contact and send a message to that contact. And if you're getting a call on WhatsApp, that functionality is also pretty limited. But if you have WhatsApp notifications on your watch, which is pretty solid on Galaxy watches, so WhatsApp notifications are very good and very well implemented on these watches. And if you have a WhatsApp message in the notifications, then you can do quite a bit of stuff with WhatsApp. So let's get started. First of all, if you have messages from several contacts and you have not seen them on your phone, your watch will show you the number here. So I have got messages here from three different contacts right now and it shows up here. Now I can simply tap on it and it will show me all the three contacts that I have messages from. So these are three separate chats and if I go in these chats it will actually show me the history of last few messages as well. I will not be able to read the whole thing but last few messages 10 or 15 messages will show up in these chats. So if I go in here, you will see that I have got a history of last few messages that I can see in this chat. And then if someone has sent you an image on WhatsApp, you can see that and view that on your watch as well. And I think that's pretty cool and pretty awesome. You don't even have to open your phone if someone has sent you an image on WhatsApp. But if someone has sent you a GIF, then you won't be able to watch that on your watch. Same for the videos. For that, you need to open your phone even for audio if someone has sent you an audio clip you will have to open your phone to uh, listen to that but if it's a photo you can see it on the watch and here comes the cool part you can actually quick reply to these messages you can have them edited already and you can send these messages very quickly to your uh, whatsapp messages then you can also go in this mic option and you can record your message which will uh, translate into text on the watch hi all good thank you looking forward to meeting you so there you go, it got most of it right, but uh, everything else seems to be in order and then you can send it like this. Then you can go in emojis and you can reply with emojis very quickly. And the third option is going in the keyboard option. So if you go in here and here you have got again um, two options, you can write text by hand. So you can type it here with your finger very quickly so it's not very good at uh, recognizing it you have to be very precise what you're trying to write and then you can just go to the next option which is the keyboard option and here you can type what you are trying to say and then send it you've got other options here as well numbers and emojis and stuff like that so if I press send it will send the message and then once you have sent the message now the chat is gone from your notifications now you will not be able to see the chat anymore but you can see the chat again once the reply comes so let's demo that so now we've got a reply back and if I tap on it it will go straight in and there you go now the previous chat is gone but now we have the recent chat so I tried doing it a couple of times got it right the second time so now we have a reply and now once again you can continue your uh, chat once you've got the reply. So that's how the messages work on your Galaxy Watch. There is no way to initiate a WhatsApp message but once you have messages from several contacts, they'll show up very nicely and very cleanly in your notifications. You can go in these different contacts, read a little bit of history of your chat messages and then you can reply uh, with your voice, with emojis, with you know typing the text or writing the text and then quick messages, quick replies. You can use that forum as well. So what happens if someone is trying to call you on WhatsApp? 
well sadly that functionality is also quite limited and I would have been very very impressed if we uh, were able to attend whatsapp calls on galaxy watches but that's not the case so let me show you what happens if someone calls you so this is what happens when someone is calling you on whatsapp this is the only option you get and that is declining the call there is no way to accept the call you can only just you know swipe on the watch face or you can rotate your bezel to decline the call and yes that's a pretty limited functionality when it comes to voice calls yeah, i would have loved it if samsung had given us the option to attend these calls on the watch as well it would have been pretty cool so that's about it from this video guys i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think and what whatsapp functionality are you looking forward to on upcoming galaxy watches now that samsung is switching over to wear os in galaxy watch 4 and galaxy watch 4 active let me know in the comments and i will see you in the next one till then take care Bye bye